So today we're going to work on your neck, uh, shoulders, the shoulder rub region, as well as upper back. And we'll start from a line down on your back, closing your eyes, making sure that you intentionally release all of your muscles, so slowly scan your body, your upper back, slowly moving down, through your legs and then up through the frontal portion of the body and just releasing your muscles. Breathe and listen to the signals coming from your body. We're going to work on your neck and you will need one double tracker and one roller squat. So you will take, you will position the double tracker on top of the roller squat and place it under your upper neck. So it will be right about here, right under the bone. First of all, make sure that this feels comfortable, that this is not too intense. Breathe. And now very slowly turn your head to the right, just a little bit. And then to the left. And while you continue breathing, keep turning your head very slowly from side to side. Right. And now let's reposition the double tracker and the roller squad to your meat neck. So once again, this is the positioning. Now the structure is right under your mid neck. And once again, first of all, feel and make sure that you're getting a nice and pleasant experience, that this is not too intense. Breathe. Slowly now turn your head to the right and to the left. And to the right. And continue the movement at your own pace. the center and reposition the roller squat and the double tracker closer to your lower neck. And breathe. And when you're ready, you can start a very slow rotation of the head from side to side.
bring your hand back to the center. And you're going to remove the double tracker and the roller squat from under your neck. And now you will need two double trackers. And you will put one on top of the other, just like this, so they're perpendicular to each other. And this way, you're going to put them under your uh, neck, so under your upper neck. And the upper double tracker ends up perpendicular to your spinal column. Okay, so we're going to put it just like this. Now this, as you will feel, is an unstable structure. And the idea of this exercise is to release your neck muscles to completely intentionally relax them and enjoy the lack of balance because that lack of balance creates one point where your head starts floating almost in the air. And spend a couple of minutes here just breathing. like to add just a little bit of movement, you can do so by turning your head gently in a very subtle way to the left and then to the right. Stay here, breathe, continue listening to the sensations coming from your back. And once again, if you wish, 
you can add a little bit of movement by turning your hat from side to side. And bring your hand back to the center. Use your hands to remove the double trackers from under your neck. Relax your hand on the yoga mat, close your eyes. Once again, bring your awareness to your neck. Breathe into that region. Continue listening to the sensations coming from this area and relax for a minute or two. 